Hi everybody, my name is Kate and I am a music therapist with McConnell Music Therapy Services serving the greater Sacramento area and thanks for joining me again today for heart work. So this is another one for caregivers. These past couple of weeks I feel like in our house at least we've kind of hit our stride. Um, we no longer feel like we're in crisis mode all the time. Uh, homeschooling is now met with only mild to moderate angst um, with all parties involved. And I don't find myself wondering if 3.40 in the afternoon is too early to have a glass of wine on a regular basis. So these are all good things. But it was interesting. Around the time that that happened, I noticed a shift when I started to come up with these wild ideas for fun events that we could do at our house. And some of those events were very proportional to the situation. We got an old school projector screen and we started doing um, every now and then a fun, like real movie night. We got some movie candy. It was very exciting. Uh, some other ideas were less proportional to the situation. Like when I suddenly got it in my mind that what we needed to do was put an in-ground pool in our backyard. This is wildly outside of our budget right now. So uh, that, was an, that was an interesting period in time. And then this wasn't just relegated to my kids. My mom had to quarantine very strictly and completely alone for a couple of weeks due to a possible exposure. And I was obsessively thinking of ways to make her quarantine experience on life better um, from everything from dropping off lasagna because I'm from the Midwest and so when you don't know what to do you bring food um, or dropping off wine or dropping off more yarn because she knits and if her hands don't have something to do there are going to be problems so <laughs> in all of this the, the theme that was constant between all of these ideas, proportional, not proportional, they were taking up so much of my mental space all of the time. I was constantly thinking about these ideas. And me being the good researching geek that I am, I knew that meant I needed to examine a little closer why I couldn't stop thinking about these things. Um, and part of it is who I am. I love coming up with fun events as a family all the time. I am the geekiest mom ever. But also I realized that a part of why this had reached almost an obsessive level was because I was trying to fix the quarantine for the people in my life. I was trying to fix and totally negate the impacts that social distancing was going to have on all of us. And that was an uncomfortable realization because it doesn't matter how many creative theme nights I come up with or um, how many fun ideas for the s'mores bar that we did the other night at our fire pit in the backyard. Um, how many creative ideas I come up with for that. This is still a hard situation. It's hard. It's going to be hard on us. It's going to be hard on our kids. And there is nothing we can do about that. And that is not fun to look at. But maybe it's okay. This is a big deal. And maybe our job as caregivers is not to keep it from affecting our kids. Maybe our job is just to love and support them through this instead of rescue them. What if this is an opportunity and then instead of saving them constantly, we use this time to coach them on how to handle adversity, trusting them and supporting them as they try their strength. Throughout most of this pandemic, I've worn this necklace that you probably can't see, but it has a silhouette of a bird on a branch. 
and I've been wearing it to remind myself that the bird isn't calm because it trusts the branch, but because it trusts its wings. Like all things, it's a balance. Of course we want to protect our children and to keep this from affecting them unnecessarily. Absolutely. But also, what if we allow them to develop their own strength and flex their wings so they become the amazing, resilient people that they're capable of being? And through this, what if we stopped expecting ourselves to hold this superpower ability to prevent world events from impacting those that we love? What if we trusted not only the wings of our children, but also our own? What if we trusted our capability to handle whatever comes, knowing that both us and our children are capable of doing hard things? So now I invite you to take a minute. Think about how you're managing things right now. you've been worrying about that branch beneath you, whatever it is? What if we stopped trying to control the things that are outside of our control? To trust our capabilities to handle whatever came. And what might it look like to trust our children's capabilities too, to handle these hard things, knowing that we're here to give them support and to guide them when they need help. What if we could set down that heavy weight of trying to save our children from this experience and instead just loved them through it? Knowing that both them and you are capable of doing hard things. Thank you so much for joining me today for hard work. Take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I hope that you join me again next time.